Hines, as the port of Newport faces a big decision and it could reshape that area for decades. Now, Newport has been home to almost exclusively commercial fishermen, but now port commissioners want to open that up to corporate shipping. Our Andrew Dimbert was at a public meeting in Newport on this issue and tells us what's at stake. <laughs> Off the Oregon coast, on the waters of the Pacific, a town's future determined by a slab of concrete. Newport fishermen's wives and fishermen and fishing businesses that are concerned. They're concerned. It is a part of the fabric of Newport. In Newport, hopes that an old export will solve a looming financial crisis. For years now, the international port at Newport has been home to almost exclusively commercial fishermen. The boats are, you know, roughly all this size. But the port is losing money fast. To me, the, the port acts like the shipping is going to be the golden goose to save their uh, $200,000 a year deficit. Local commissioners have a deal on the table that would bring commercial log shipping back to Newport through a multi-million dollar loan. We're very supportive of bringing shipping in. It could bring revenue to the port. We just don't want to be displaced in order to make that happen. And tonight, the commissioners had a chance to push forward and vote the deal through, despite reluctance from the fishing community. Because to lose any of these big boats would be a big shock on the community. Fishers and even loggers most affected by this pleaded to delay a vote until a better plan is put in place that would benefit everyone. There's not enough dialogue going back and forth. You know, it's been, uh, there hasn't been the transparency that us fishermen would like to see. There's no denying that reintroducing shipping could revitalize the port, even make it profitable again. But that could come at the cost of losing local fishermen to other ports, local fishermen that have arguably kept the local economy afloat. If we aren't able to negotiate some set-aside times where the fishing fleet has opportunity to have priority access at the dock, some of those boats will likely have to leave Newport. And local fishermen who built their lives on this dock worry that log shippers will take over and push them out entirely. We've sustained this community, you know, since shipping went away, you know, and now shipping wants to come back and say, hey, you know, done with you, let's move on. Andrew Dimbert, Coin6 News. Okay, an update for you. The meeting just wrapped up. Andrew tells us the commissioners are postponing a final vote on that project. We're going to continue to follow this very important story and bring you updates as we get them.